Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the City Sports Spin Bike, the exercise bike, the Seeds S10 exercising bike. And this is a bike that you can keep in your house during these times where, you know, like you don't really want to go out to a gym or something like that, but you can have it indoors. It's basically an indoor exercise bike for fitness and cardio workouts and cycling training and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you guys how to completely assemble this thing with the tools that they do provide as well as the screws and uh, the base and everything like that. So this is the front base that goes in the front on the bottom and you can actually move it around and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And then they do also offer the rear base, which has these like adjustable feet, which you can adjust the height so that when it's on a flat surface, you can keep it level at all times. You also do have these uh, aluminum or steel. I don't know which one it's made of, but like the bike pedals on both sides. And then you also do have you know the the front portion of it which is basically what you're gonna hold on to when you're actually pedaling on the bike and stuff like that and they also do have a lcd monitor inside of it as well as a cup holder now the first step requires you to actually install the steel pedals or whatever and it's pretty straightforward you know this thing will have a resistance so when you are using it i'll show you that in just a second but the steel pedals you basically spin those on and they do have those feet straps right so you can kind of adjust the way it feels on your feet when it comes to the tightness of it because it has that strap right over it but make sure you put the screw in and then put the, the the nut at the end of it and then just make sure you tighten that just for you know so it's actually going to be really secure and stuff like that now this thing is going to ship from a company called qdwfy but it's made the brand is from a company called twd and basically it has city sports on the side of it like a branding city sports all across it and so with it's the 2wd brand they're going to give you some pretty cool features when it comes to this thing first of all it's going to be suitable for not only men but women as well and what i did notice is that the assembly process is really straightforward and very easy even though it does seem overwhelming when you first take it out of the box and stuff like that but the first thing you want to do is actually after you've done after you put the pedals on you want to actually put the screws underneath them and then put the washer in between and then put the then i'm saying the nut right over top of it and then this bike will be you know pretty heavy i just want to throw that out there it is a pretty decent weight to it it's, it's got some weight to it but that's good because it does stay level on the floor when you're exercising and it also does it doesn't rock because it has the adjustable feet on the bottom which is pretty cool and you can actually adjust the seat the, the handles as well as how how far forward you want to go and back with the adjustable seat when it comes to the positioning so i thought that was actually pretty cool that they did have that and you can also track your progress during workouts with the lcd monitor as well so i thought that was something that was pretty cool but you know and all you have to do is install those nuts on there and bolts and then you can actually put the seat in just by unscrewing this little nozzle and then finding the right level that you want your height on your your seat which is pretty cool and then you can connect the contact points from the lcd monitor to the bike wires and then basically just go ahead and um you know leave that there but then the next step would be to actually adjust and install this portion right here which is going to be the handlebar which you're going to be holding on to when you're actually exercising and um like i said before this is going to be good for males and females it's going to be pretty sturdy you're going to put the covering over top of the bark thing right there and you know this thing will be pretty straightforward and then you can also put the lcd monitor right over top of that but you want to connect the additional two wires that are going to be right on the bottom to the connection points of the lcd monitor so that once you do so you'll actually get um some some power once you put those included batteries and i did like the fact that they did include the batteries on this thing so overall design is pretty good it's about a you know a pretty decent design good flexibility and good value for the money and the packaging is good as well so 
it's ideal for tall women tall men i'm about six feet one a buck 85 and i didn't have any issues with this thing whatsoever but just keep in mind this thing does keep your knees in a bent position most of the time so like if you have like tendonitis or you know if your knees aren't aren't used to bending at a 90 degree angle then you might want to reconsider this one because it's going to have your knees in that position of bending and um a lot of people don't have you know sturdy joints and you know, tendons and stuff like that so if this is something that's going to be an issue i just want to throw that out there but you can see the overall design after you've completed the installation and assembly process is really straightforward and you do get these uh, magnet points right here well, actually connection points which is going to me measure your heartbeat and your pulse when you're riding and like i said before that's going to be a really good feature for this thing because you're not only you're going to be able to measure your distance calories burn time speed as well as uh, you know i'm saying the odometer and your heartbeat it's gonna it's gonna be able to let you reset that at any time and this thing does have an emergency brake that you can use so if you're actually using it you, all you have to do is press down on that brake and the brake doubles as a resistance uh um meter right so you can the red meter you, you the red knob you can turn it and the the you can increase the stress of the workout by turning it to the right and then you can loosen the stress of the workout by turning it to the left and then i did like the fact that the sheet the seat can this sheet the seat can be positioned forward or back so that's going to be very helpful for if you don't want to strain your back too much when you're riding this thing but the other thing is that not only can you adjust the height and of the seat and the handles you can also adjust the resistance and so it's going to be a really good workout for you indoors if you are the type of person who can't really get out much during these times and maybe you're just looking to have a good cardio workout and a lot this is going to be good for short people right it's also going to be good for tall people because i am six six foot or you know what i'm saying six one or something like that and it does have that water bottle holder so like i said you could use this indoors and it's really going to be straightforward to use it's going to be a nice little machine if you just want to burn some calories while you're inside or just watch tv and burn some calories right but like i said your knees will be at that bent position most of the time i wasn't getting that that position where my knee would straighten out at any point in time while using this so i just want to let you know that you will feel the burn inside of your your thigh area after about like two minutes of being on this thing you will notice that burn on your thigh area right away so i did no feel the resistance of it and the exercise was really good when i was using it and i, I did use it about 10 minutes at a time at any given time and I did like the fact that it was very portable to use because it has those wheels that you can roll it around very easily and bring it from room to room right there so i definitely think that's pretty cool so it was pretty sturdy and it did have a really good price point right now this thing is going to be a buck 49 right now so you can get it at a, a buck 49 or you can get it at a uh you can you can add the fee and they will have an expert assemble it for you if you're not if that's not something that you're not comfortable doing yourself but you can also include a protection plan with it just in case anything happens to it you can also include the protection plan to keep yourself you know what i'm saying you know grounded and still be able to use it after if something does occur with this thing but the only thing that i didn't like is that everything is measured in centimeters and millimeters and ki kilograms and stuff like that so i don't know if that's a unit of measure that you're used to seeing but i'm actually used to seeing like miles and stuff like that so when i see kilograms it kind of throws me off but let me know what you guys think about this flywheel belt drive exercise indoor bike made by T W T W D and you know what I'm saying let me know what you think about the overall installation and review and I'll, I'll get right back with you I'll show up in the comment section to answer all your questions but later crew peace